Well, people who claim smoke shops sell tobacco and marijuana to kids are demanding more action to stop it tonight. The outcry follows the city shutting down Detroit hookah last week over allegations of illegally selling weed to a minor. 7 Action News reporter Ruta Olsenaida is live on Detroit's east side where people are now protesting. Ruta. Yeah, good evening, you guys. Well, it all stems from the community members being frustrated that both tobacco and weed are getting sold to underage individuals. It's exactly what this hookah shop behind me here did. They got shut down for it. And so now the community has decided to rise up saying just shutting that one business down isn't enough. So we've got CP here. He's a local minister. Thank you so much for joining me. Tell us why you guys decided to come out here today, even though that business is now shut down. Because we want to let the community know that they have people out here in defense of our young people. As we can see the close proximity of our high school there with this hookah shop here, we got to make these tobacco people, this actually tobacco retailers, we got to make them responsible for what they do. They're given license to do these things. Now here it is, they're not only selling um, tobacco to underage children, but they're also selling illegal marijuana. Yes point in our minds of our young people. So we are here standing as a wall of brass in defense of what is taking place. The time is now. People say, why you ain't came before? We here now and you see us now because the time is now. Do you think people would be naive to think that this is the only place in Detroit that's doing this? Oh No, people are not that naive. It's even a sign out there now, this um, redirecting people to another location they actually have. And we'll be visiting that location also. You know, this is serious business. This is no longer going to be business as usual because this is unusual business as of this day here. We got here. a gas station on the west side mm -hmm. that's already sold vapes to 12-year-old and 11-year-old children. Middle school students have told us, the principal has told us, we're rolling on that gas station as well. So this is not, to, to what uh, uh, Brother Fukui was saying, it's not restricted to just high schoolers at Persian. This is an issue throughout the city. It's an issue with several different establishments, and it speaks to the blatant disregard for Detroiters and for really young black life. You wouldn't do this in your own communities. Why you then come into our communities and do it with our children? It is absolutely unacceptable. Just like we don't accept the violence, we don't accept violence being uh, committed in this form to our children. Right. We're well, slowly killing our children. You can see the frustration here. We'll have more for you guys at both 10 and 11, so make sure to stay with us. For now, live in Detroit, I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 Action News. Yeah, thank you so much, Rudolph. I see a number of community members who are really activists in the city of Detroit, so hopefully they can get something done. Thank you so much, Rudolph, for that live report.